that's why once we create an object compulsory we require to perform initialization for that object sir now the point here is sir we are just a creating student object but we are not performing initialization we are not providing we are not assigning the value of name we are not assigning the value of roll number so that's why whenever we are creating an object for every object a separate copy of instance variables will be created and uh, for those instance variable default values will be provided by jvm sir sir now what is the default value for name name is a string type which is the default value null are you getting right what is the what is the default value for name uh, name is the null null what is the default value for roll number roll number itself is uh, sir do you know int uh, the default value is uh, zero remember this one my name is null roll number is zero within a class all the 600 students having same name same name null same roll number zero meaningless are you getting that that's why once we create an object compulsory we require to perform initialization for that object otherwise that object is not in a position to respond properly to provide service properly are you getting so compulsory we require to perform initialization then only that object creation is meaningful remember name first student name durga roll number 101 second student name sam ravi roll number 102 third student name sam shiva roll number 103 are student what is your name and roll number happily this person is telling my name is durga my roll number 101 my name is ravi my roll number 102 my name is shiva my roll number 103 something like now these objects are in a position to respond properly that's why once we create an object compulsory we require to perform initialization if you are not performing initialization that object is not in a position to respond properly everyone can able to understand right so initialization of an object so initialization for instance variable is a very very important task you people should aware